Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Greetings, everybody. Hi, everybody. We're in Reedsville, North Carolina. Kayla didn't feel like being on camera today because she feels like she's having a bad day, hair day. Meanwhile, you're not, and I am. That's why I put this hat on. <laughs> I, it rains, and it got humid, and my hair puffs up really, really bad when it gets humid. It is humid. And I didn't bring my humid, you know, my humidity spray, so. <laughs> it's okay. But anyway, we're here in Reedsville, and behind me is an abandoned Win Dixie grocery store. Uh, they are a chain of grocery stores predominantly in the south and southeast United States. And uh, if I remember right, Kayla was saying that North Carolina lost all of their Win Dixies by 04 or 05. Yeah, apparently they all pulled out of the North Carolina. I found an article about it when I tried looking this place up. They pulled out in 05. I guess they weren't profitable here because you gotta think you have Food Lion, you have Harris Teeter, you got Publix. So, Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly, yeah. Angles. Angles, yeah. Yeah, so. So you got all these. That's just like, to name a few. <laughs> oh, and unfortunately, Walmart. <laughs> yeah. And, but that's the thing, around here, there's hardly anything here. You have a dead mall that sits behind this place called the Penrose Mall, which, if I haven't uploaded that video yet, you'll see that very soon. It's one of my favorite places. And I'll talk about that more as we walk around. So, what are we doing waiting here? Let's go check out Win Dixie. Okay, here you are, abandoned Win Dixie in Reedsville, North Carolina. We're right behind the Penrose Mall that I has I have just been inside of there. I just did a video there, and you'll see that soon. And just wow that was let's just say that was at the top of my bucket list for a couple of years ever since i seen the aces adventures video from there and then other people too like raw and real retail several others but it was at the top of my bucket list to do the penrose mall and i had no idea i completely forgot that this existed right behind the mall win dixie in which they closed up all of their north carolina stores I think by 2004 or 5, as Kayla said. Easy to see inside of this, too. That is dead. What an echo. <laughs> This place has been beat to hell and back, but I mean, it's falling apart. As you can see, mold, just like at the mall, has started to take its toll, mother nature. You'll see in the mall video, if I haven't uploaded it by, by now, you'll see in the mall video just how bad the inside of Penrose Mall is. Zoom in a little bit, there you go. There's your pharmacy. Do I see something that says Lowe's on it back there? I think I do, on the camera. I can't see it with the naked eye, but I see it on camera. That's wild, I guess maybe they had like a miniature Lowe's to, uh, home improvement store in there. I don't know. But I like the uh, pictures they put up on this too to make it look nice. I don't know whether or not this was before or after the store closed, but I like these old time pictures of Reedsville. Naturally, there was some vandalism here with the broken boards, but at least it wasn't too bad. And uh, maybe if I put camera down here, we can get a better shot. Yeah, a little bit. Pharmacy, see a couple of the letters still. Wow. But yeah, I got a couple broken windows. We did a lap around this place in the car. There's no going inside of it, but that's okay. I'm just happy to put this on video for you guys before this gets demolished, because at, at the rate this is going, it's going to need it. The JCPenney at the mall 
which is also abandoned. That, that is probably one of the worst condition stores I've seen since the Ames department stores I've been inside of. We'll take a look through this door here. And on the other side of the highway, well, not other side of the highway, but behind the mall on the other side, over a hill, there's an abandoned Kmart too. But you can't really see too well inside of there. And I was talking with Kayla, and I figured between the two, as much as I love Kmart and doing Kmart videos, I almost and honestly felt like this was worth it more. I felt like it was worth more to do this, Win dixie over the Kmart, simply because you can see inside of this very, very well. And when the Kmart, uh, with the Kmart, when we were looking at it, we drove by it. It naturally got the double doors. It's all decrepit and dark, and you can hardly see anything inside. This is one old store. As you can see, I mean, the ceiling is just falling apart. I love this in North Carolina. I've noticed this so many times where you have a drop ceiling outside. I was mentioning that in the Mount Airy video at that Winn-Dixie. Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing to see back here on this side. And if I go around it, you can see all the loading docks on that side. So we'll hop in a car and go around that side. And I'm only doing that just so I don't have to walk all the way back around this side because this place is actually pretty large. So um, once you see the back, that'll be good because the other side got the loading docks on it. The back is pretty much barren, kind of like that side was, but really nice i mean look at this parking lot too i mean this this to think at one point in time this had a lot of life in it people would come here on sundays do their grocery shopping come in here with their coupons get their weekly specials come here after church or before a football game or during the week pack up stuff to make for a picnic to go to a park and now it just sits here in ruin. I mean, it's hard to make out the label scars on us. And when we first pulled up on it, we weren't sure at first. But I immediately started getting Win dixie vibes. And then immediately I could see the Dixie part right here. So that, that was really, really neat to see. And I'm glad I was able to share this place with you. That's what's left of their sign. It's just signless. There's nothing up there but to think years ago that said Win dixie on it. I'd be curious. I'd like to see old pictures of this if they're available out there. Not just the sign, but I mean the store itself. Because this place is awesome, and I like it a lot. All right, here we are on the back side. Speed bump. Yeah, we're on the back side of the Win dixie and as you can see, there's really... Nothing to see here except old loading docks, doorways. I wouldn't even want to check any of these doors simply because you got roses right behind us, which is an open business, and I've been seeing employees coming in and out of the store. People on their smoke breaks, too. Mm hmm. But you get the idea here. Boy, do they brick off a lot of things here. I did some research because I tried to look this place up to see when it closed, and it said that when Dixie pulled out of the North Carolina market in 2005, so I would say like 2005 or earlier, this probably closed. Yeah. Which it, is weird. It because, feels old. Yeah. yeah. Which is weird because we had a Win Dixie in my hometown, and that closed around 2003. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. I was so young. And that right back there, guys, is the Penrose Mall, and that's the back side of Roses. And the J.C. Penny, which is directly in front. Like I said, you'll see that in the other video from Penrose Mall. That J.C. Penny was probably the most decrepit place I've seen besides Ames that I've been inside of. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope you appreciated that look here and enjoyed the look around Winn-Dixie here in Reedsville. I just love being in North Carolina. I just, this is, I've told you guys many a times, this is my favorite state in the country. I love coming here. I want to live here so badly. It's a dream to live near a coastal North Carolina, preferably on the Outer Banks, but just not on the beach roadside where hurricanes eat away at the islands like Manio, 
Juan Chase or even in between the highways between the bypass and uh, the beach road or even on the sound side. I would just love to live in Nags Head. But either way, I love North Carolina. I love coming down here. And we made a special seven hour drive from Pittsburgh down here to, so I could check out the Penrose Mall. And this was a nice little surprise here, as well as the Kmart, which is on the other side of the mall, on the other side of the hill. But as I mentioned, there's really not a whole lot to see there. But just to give you an idea, here's a couple of video clips that I took from there. Yeah, here is that said Kmart just over the hill from the mall. And like I said, you could just see how decrepit this one is and how old it has it has to be. And I mean, I'll walk up to the doors, but I mean, you're not really going to see anything in here. But I figured instead of making a full video out of it, here's a little Easter egg for the Winn-Dixie video. So enjoy it. And I mean, this whole shopping center is dead except for the food line and the CVS down on the end. But yeah, other than that, you're not going to see a whole lot in here. Just my reflection. Well, you can see more in there than I thought, though. Not a whole lot, though. We'll walk down to the garden side real quick and check that out, too. But like I was saying, yeah, in terms of where it's at from the mall, you go up this hill here, and behind the tree line is where Penrose Mall is. And where the Wind Dixie is. Yeah, well, look at that. Sears and Kmart. So, this was a Sears holding store. It was definitely here after 2002, after that bankruptcy. But nothing to see, though, other than that, though, unfortunately. And then here's their prison yard. That's that. That's Kmart for you here in Reedsville. And this is why I thought doing the Winn-Dixie was worth it more than the Kmart for once. Just because I am tired, but yet I still came over here to give you a couple minutes worth of footage from here. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Alright, so there was that. And as you can see, it wouldn't have been really worth going up to the doors. I know I've done other Kmart videos like that, but I gotta be honest, I'm kinda tired from all the driving and Penrose Mall and all the mold that I, you know, I was breathing in and there <laughs> kinda got me whooped. But even though I was wearing a mask in there and you could smell it through a mask and I'm thinking people work at the Roses and at the Belk and the little flower shop in there, but it's like they go to work there every day and they're breathing that in. You know what smelled worse than the mold? <laughs> I went into Belk and you know me, I love perfumes and I was just, you know, spraying some perfume and I accidentally sprayed this disgusting <laughs> perfume. It was horrible. I accidentally, I don't know how I managed to do this, sprayed it on part of my mask and I sprayed it on my fingers. Oh man. And I put like hand sanitizer on a hundred times and <laughs> it still smells well, oh you, my god you should have read the label the label clearly said ode pork this smell like dead I pork mean, smell it that smells like like wait let me smell that again oh ethel how was church this morning exactly. did you knit any couple sweaters after church exactly. today exactly what's aunt what's aunt penny doing today I feel like my grandma, because I swear that was like, <laughs> I'm not even joking. I think that was the same perfume she used that, to wear. That perfume I just got a whiff of, I kid you not, if I was shopping in this Winn-Dixie on a Sunday afternoon, or even Sunday around lunchtime, as soon as uh, the older people get out of church, you would smell a plethora of this stuff in there from the ladies that just overly do it with perfume like that. Not that there's anything wrong. You do what you want to do. I'm not picking on you. But to, like, me, sometimes it's so strong it burns my eyes. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just being silly. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look here at Winn-Dixie. And stay tuned for the Penrose Mall if I haven't uploaded it yet. And, oh, man, just stay tuned for whatever other videos we got coming out from North Carolina. You never know where we're going to be or when. But there's just something about this place. I love it. There are a lot of rundown old places like this that tell a lot of stories and that have a lot of history behind it. And that's what I appreciate. I like this state because there are several things that are just so old here. 
like you. Like me. Just kidding. <laughs> but I love it though. I love it. I'm not talking any crap. I love it. North downtown. Carolina is awesome. The South in general is awesome. And I cannot wait to go back to Texas to who knows. By the time you see this video, we may already be there. Maybe. I cannot wait Car. to go to Texas <laughs> to see my family, my friends again. I that's love my Texas hometown. too. And I I miss it. I want to go to Torchy's Tacos and just put some tacos away. Yeah, we're you gonna... know, I live off Mexican food. Eat, sleep, breathe Mexican food. If I don't have it once a week, I'll start going into tears. <laughs> we're definitely going to get Mexican food today, even though I passed pizza and like 20 Bojangles and whatnot. I want bottom of the barrel pizza, Wally. I thought you were getting ready to say something bad about Bojangles, and I was going to say, you best get out of this car and start walking. Really? You mm -hmm. do that to me? You talk crap on Bojangles? What if I said F Bojangles? Get out of the car. I don't mean it. <laughs> I know. We're kidding. F we're kidding. I'm just Excuse kidding. me? I would never, ever, ever, ever disrespect Rax like that. And you know that. You know me Good well girl. enough. Good girl. All right. We're done being silly. All right. I'm hungry, guys. I got to go right now. Bye. Bye. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, if you enjoyed, give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, subscribe to the channel, channel for more content. Up. And, and with, with that, that said, said take, <laughs> take care, stay, stay awesome, awesome, and have, have a, a win dixie delicious day. day. win dixie delicious day. win dixie delicious day. Hey, guys, there's a tongue twister. How many times can you say win dixie delicious day? win dixie delicious You always say win dixie delicious day. win dixie delicious day. You gotta say it fast. Win I dixie can't. Day. win dixie delicious day. win dixie delicious day. win dixie delicious day. How many times did I say stop tickling me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. Bye, win dixie delicious day. Cool. Jeez. Uh, <laughs>